All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome. All right, hold on. I got I to gotta mute everybody. Okay, we're good. We are off and rolling for what what is kind of now our annual oily crystal class that Rebecca and I do together. So very excited we're going to be doing this. So I'm going to kick it off and then Rebecca's going to come in um, and then we will end and then we will take some questions. So I'm very happy as you all are coming in and very happy to see that people love this topic. So we had a lot of registrations for this class. So for those who are watching the recording, uh, you know, we missed you here live, but you know where to reach me and Rebecca if you have any questions. So, so I'm, I'm going to start off by introducing myself. And then when I'm done, I'm going to let, um, and then I'm going to let Rebecca introduce herself and talk about the amazing work that she's doing. So I have been an attorney for, ooh, we are going on 30 years. That makes me feel really old when I say that. So I have spent my legal career in the criminal justice field um, as a career prosecutor, either in the courtroom or training prosecutors. So I specialize in animal protection and family violence. So not fun stuff, which is why you all now know why I play with crystals and essential oils all day and hang out with my cats because that's all happy stuff. So I am also the founder and the CEO of a nonprofit called Sheltering Animals and Families Together. And I just launched the nonprofit's podcast today on YouTube. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that has been years, years in the making. I'm not kidding, years. So I'm super excited. The first episode is out there if anybody is interested. Um, and I am the owner of Manifested Harmony. I have eight different healing certifications, including being an advanced crystal master teacher. I have been an essential oil educator for, whoop, there goes Rudy, for over a decade. And I am the author of the Oily Pet and the Oily Crystal books and the creator of the Oily Crystal Masterclass. If you have not taken that, you certainly need to check that out. It is an on-demand class. So, all right. We are going to dive in, okay? We're going to dive in because I want to I want to make sure that we have room for everybody's questions at the end. So, I... I have been teaching about, well, I have actually been blending essential oils and crystals for 12 years. Um, I was doing it when no one was talking about it because I just thought it was kind of cool. <laughs> it was just a cool thing to do. And I've also been teaching about it for almost that same amount of time. But I didn't put all this knowledge into the oily crystal book until gosh, when was that 2020 when I started seeing some really dangerous practices out there. So if you haven't gotten that book, just wait till the end because I, I know Rebecca and I are just going to throw gifts at you. Okay. We're just going to throw gifts at you. So wait until the end. Um, if, if you need that book. So why would you want to pair crystals and essential oils together? Like why, why, why would you want to do it? Where is my roller bottle? This is the one that I'm getting ready to fill from Rebecca. It's got peridot in it, which is my birthstone. I'm getting ready to fill this one. So here's the thing. Crystals and essential oils are made of vibrational frequency. Everything in existence is made up of vibrational frequency. So when you start adding vibrational frequencies together and they coexist harmoniously and start working together synergistically, they will enhance the power of both, okay? So I think you all are essential oilers, okay? When I looked at the list of people who registered, it's like, yeah, okay. You know, these are our people, all right? <laughs> 
So you know that essential oils provide a myriad of benefits, physical, emotional, mental, mindset, spiritual, you name it. They're very vibrational frequency based. And crystals are the same way. They come from the earth, just like the plants do that create the oils. So crystals provide a myriad of benefits as well. And so this ends up being another wellness tool in your toolbox that you can work with. Plus, it's just fun. <laughs> it's just fun to, to come up with a blend and pick the crystal and, and make a roller bottle. So, you know, in the Oily Crystal book, I, I go over frequency so that you really understand it. I mean, I think a lot of people understand it, but I, I, go, I go a little deeper into it and talk about how everything is made of frequency. We live in a frequency-based world and your health and wellness will tell you what your frequency is. If you are not well, you have a low frequency. If you are excited and motivated and have vitality, you have a high frequency. So in the book, I go over three physics principles that I actually teach um, pretty deeply in my crystal classes that I teach because I teach the science of crystals. And so I, I want to just talk about one so that you can really understand how the crystals work if you've never taken one of my crystal classes. So let me talk about the principle of resonance. And this is a physics principle. Okay, this is not Allie has gone wild principle. Okay, it's, it's legit. Like it's real science. So in the principle of resonance, it, it explains that when you have two vibrations, you have a large vibration, a, you know, a strong vibration, and you have a low, weaker vibration, the lower vibration will synchronize with the higher one. Okay, it'll actually synchronize with it. So the stronger one pulls up the weaker frequency. So if you've ever seen a tuning fork or worked with a turn, tuning fork, if you have two that are of the same note, let's say they're note D as in dog, you take one and you smack it really hard. If the other one is of the same note, it's going to start vibrating even though you don't do anything to it. Okay. That's the principle of resonance. Okay. These are mutual energies that work off of each other. Another good example is, you know, when, when you're feeling content, like you're not super excited about anything, but you're also not super sad about anything. You're just, you know, you're good. You're, you're good. And you come across somebody who is either really excited or really a downer. They will bring you into their energy. Have you ever had that happen? You encounter a friend who is really a downer, and by the time he or she is done dumping their garbage all over you, you walk away feeling worse. That's a physics principle. It's a principle of resonance because we, too, are frequency. And so we respond to frequencies. Well, the same thing is with, with crystals. So let me, let me give you a very, very short lesson in how crystals work. It takes me hours to explain this in my basic crystal class. So crystals have what's called a fixed repeating crystalline structure, which is different than minerals and rocks. So all crystals are made of minerals. That's all they are, is minerals. You know, so silica, calcium, um, magnesium, aluminum, um, asbestos, nickel, lead, just because it comes from the earth doesn't mean it's, it's healthy for you, okay? So crystals can be made of very positive minerals or minerals that you ought not, you know, be work, you know, be ingesting. So 
crystals have a crystalline structure to them. That's what makes them different from a rock and a stone. I cringe a little bit inside when I hear people calling their beautiful crystals a rock or a stone. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, very, very different definitions. Crystals have a fixed repeating crystalline structure that replicates from the inside out in a three-dimensional pattern. Okay, that's a short story. So everything that has a vibrational frequency has what's called a base resonant frequency or a dominant oscillatory rate. It is the rate that is the base of what makes it what it is. So is it a crystal? Is it a human? Is it an essential oil? You know, is it a chair that you're sitting in? There is a frequency that makes it what it is, okay? So for humans and even and animals, we have a fluctuating frequency because we suffer from high rates of entropy. Entropy is destruction. You know, our cells are constantly turning over and dying all the time, all the time. I mean, our organs constantly are regenerating, our skin regenerates, our hair regenerates, everything regenerates. Our emotions are always in a state of flux. So we suffer from what is called a high state of entropy. And at some point, the cells are just going to stop replicating and the body is gone. All right, now for crystals, crystals have the lowest state of entropy. It's virtually non-existent and it's why they are millions and billions of years old. All right, they don't fluctuate. So I want you to think back to that example that I gave where you have a high, large vibration and then you have a lower, weaker vibration. In the, in the physics principles, the crystal, it's the strong high frequency. We are the lower one. So guess what pulls us? The crystal pulls us to its energy. All right? So crystals don't change at the molecular or atomic level. You know, this is the scientific stuff that I teach in my classes. And so, you know, through these physics principles, when we come into contact with a crystal, our energy, our energy field, we have an energy field around us. It's why you may cringe when people get a little too close to you. And you may say, they invaded my space. Yeah, they were in your energy field. Okay, we all have an energy field around you, us. So when we come into contact with a crystal, our energy field begins to synchronize, resonate, with the crystal because the crystal structure is of a higher, stronger frequency because crystals don't fluctuate like we do. We fluctuate all day long, up and down, up and down. Crystals don't, okay? They are literally set in stone, no pun intended. So, you know, crystals actually have an energy field that we can measure with curly and photography. There's a photo of that on the screen. And this is photography that governments use. Um, it, it's a scientific uh, photographic instrument. Um, and so we know that crystals have an energy to them. And, you know, with crystals, there are a range of frequencies from crystals that are very calming and grounding to crystals that are very high vibrational and raise us up. Now, here's the thing. We don't have standardized frequencies of crystals because each crystal is unique based on where it is located on the earth. Where it was dug up, was it deeper in the earth? Was it closer to the surface? How long was it in the ground? How big is it? What is the particular mineral makeup of it? So, you know, every crystal is unique and different, and there is never two that are the same. So we don't have standardized frequencies of the crystals. And so I actually teach people how to feel the crystals. Do they calm you down or do they make you feel really super good and elevated and vibrant? Okay. So let's go over to the essential oil world. So essential oils actually don't have a solid structure like a crystal. It's liquid. Liquid fluctuates just as much as a human being does. 
So what we know through the principle of resonance, resonance is that when an essential oil has a higher frequency than something going wrong in the body, it can start to neutralize it, okay? So like I said, essential oils don't have a structure as solid as a crystal. And, you know, essential oils do have a frequency to them. Everything has a frequency. They're coming from botanicals growing in the earth. So they also contain the earth's frequency. And, you know, essential oils that have high frequencies assist with emotional issues because they can raise the frequency of the body to feel better. And essential oils that have lower frequencies are more effective on physical change. So I, I, I'm, I'm going to make what shouldn't be a controversial statement, but, it, but it may be. So for those of you in Young Living, you have invariably seen the frequency charts spread around on social media. You may have even seen people teach about them in classes. I used to teach about them until I really, really thought about it. Those charts are wrong. They're wrong. Here's why. The oils were tested in a moment in time back in 1999. Frequencies change all the time. I track the Earth's frequency. I can, I can tell you right now, the Earth's frequency has dramatically changed in the last six years, dramatically since 2017. I can tell you that it has dramatically changed in the last month. The highest recorded frequency was around Father's Day, around June 18th, 2023. If the frequency of the earth changes, so does everything on the planet, including the botanicals that create the essential oils. So when you see those charts and they talk about rose is 320 Hertz. Well, yeah, it was in 1999. I guarantee you it's a lot higher right now. We just don't know what it is. Okay. Those charts, even though they are wrong in current time, they are still beneficial because they're going to give you an idea of the oils that are higher frequency, higher than the frequency of a healthy human body. And they're going to give you an idea of the oils that are of a lower frequency because the lower frequency oils are really good for physical. Higher frequency is good for emotional, all right? So I hope I didn't burst anybody's bubble <laughs> saying that, um, but I've, I've had some really beautiful conversations uh, with, with people at Young Living Corporate, um, with Dr. Oliver Wenker, um, who was Gary Young's personal physician, and we've talked the frequency and that was a one-time test, okay? So just, just keep that in mind, but that chart is still instructive and you can, you can use it as a guide. Just don't, it's not set in stone, not like crystals, okay? <laughs> not set in stone. All right, so I, let me go through the selection process of, now that I've given, this is like a flash tutorial, okay, that I'm giving you. There's a lot more in the Oily Crystal book and there's even more in the master class. But if you want to get started right now, how do you do this? So you need to be intentional about what you want to create. Like, what do you want the roller bottle to do? I, I have people message me all the time and say, hey, Allie, you know, I got an amethyst, you know, an empty amethyst roller bottle. I want to make a blend. What should I put in it? And I always write back, what do you want it to do? I can't tell you, I can't tell you what to put in it. You have to decide what you want it to do. So be intentional. You know, if you want to create a grounding, calming blend, you're going to select grounding, calming crystals and essential oils. And if you want to create a high vibrational blend, that's going to raise you up and raise your spirits. You're going to select high vibrational crystals and high vibrational oils. So that's why that chart is instructive. My advice is to not blend too much together. You know, I'm, I'm a fan of one type of crystal in a roller bottle, maybe two, 
maybe two. You're going to want to check what's called the Mohs hardness, M-O-H-S, Mohs hardness of the crystal. Every crystal and mineral and gem has been rated on a scale of one to 10. And so you want to make sure that the crystal is a Mohs hardness six or higher. So a six, seven, eight, nine, or 10. So that's most quartz, which is the most abundant crystal on the planet. Diamond is a 10. Talc is a one. Think baby powder, <laughs> okay? And the reason that we don't want to have a soft crystal that is under six going in liquid, you never know on the inside of that crystal that maybe you can't see during the growth process, what if a little speck of lead got into that crystal? And if the crystal is soft and it goes in liquid and it breaks apart, the lead goes into the liquid and now you're smearing it all over your body. Nobody wants that, all right? That's why it has to be six or, or higher. You also need to check for toxicity. So in the Oily Crystal book, I give you a list of what's toxic and what's not. You don't want any heavy metals. Nobody wants to rub lead all over their body. We don't wanna rub aluminum all over our body. Chances are, if you're in the essential oil world, you have ditched your aluminum-based antiperspirant because we don't want aluminum. Aluminum's been linked to Alzheimer's. So why would you want a crystal with aluminum in it in your roller bottle and you're smearing it all over your body? No one. But yet that's what I see all over the market, aluminum-based crystals because people don't know what they don't know. Just because a business sells a product doesn't mean it's safe. And Rebecca, I know, is going to talk about this. Um, you know, in, in the Oily Crystal book, I give you a list of toxic crystals and crystals that are most hardness safe. Because what really triggered me to write the book was I discovered a lot of businesses, online vendors, People selling their roller bottles that included crystals containing asbestos, aluminum, lead, nickel, you name it. And that's why I say just because somebody sells a product, it doesn't mean that they know what they're talking about. And this is why I love partnering up with Rebecca because her entire inventory is safe. So I want to I want to. I want to tell you what really prompted me to do this and why I love teaching this class. And I, I teach this class over and over and over again to reach people so that they know. I was at an event in, I think it was 2018 in the Chicago area. It was the Diamond Bound Conference. And there was a vendor there selling, oil, selling crystal roller bottles. And I picked up this little chart from them that you see on the screen. I'm not gonna name the company, I don't, I don't do that. So I picked it up and I was horrified. Horrified is the nicest word that I can say. And I'm looking at all of these roller bottles that contained crystals and had roller bottle tops made of crystals that were toxic or unsafe. So I remember I sat in my hotel room <laughs> And I'm I'm with, with a dear friend of mine. We're at the conference together. And I'm like, I have to mark this up because this is not right. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to see if they're going to have a conversation with me about this. Mm -hmm. So the ends that you see that are in red, N means no, no, it cannot go in liquid, not in essential oil, not a carrier oil, and not water. The, the red N is toxic. Okay. No aquamarine, no moonstone, no labradorite. I love labradorite. Mm -mm, you are not putting that in a roller bottle. Not on my watch. Nope. Not going to do it because you're rubbing aluminum all over your body. So you notice how many red ends are on this? I mean, like 80% of this chart is unsafe and this is what they were selling. The blue ends mean the most hardness is too soft and the crystal will break down in liquid over time. And again, you don't, even if the crystal has safe minerals in it, 
you never know what's on the inside. In my advanced crystal class, I go through the crystal growth process to help everybody understand that our earth is full of minerals. At any moment, aluminum, lead, asbestos, nickel, mercury, anything can get into a crystal. And if it's soft, it can escape out. Okay. So the crystals that are too soft, no, 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 not a good idea. So that drastically limits the, the types of crystals that can go into a roller bottle. All right. So yeah, that was, <laughs> I went back and, and I, and I asked them if, 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 if I could talk to them about switching out and using non-toxic crystals. And I've had this conversation with this vendor three times. I don't believe they're selling these products anymore, but their response was, oh, the crystals are so small, it's no big deal. Hmm, that's kind of like saying a drop of essential oil is no big deal. I beg to differ. So to each his own, and it, and it helped me realize not everybody is trained in crystals, even though they love them and they're very excited about them and they want to share, it doesn't mean that they're trained. And so they don't know what they don't know. Okay. So, all right. Oop, before we get to that, oop, oop, I am going to switch it over to Rebecca so that she can dive in. All right. I got to find you here in the chart. Um, so that she can talk about what she's doing. So here, I just made you host so that you can share your PowerPoint. Okay, great. You guys see me okay? I can see you. I can hear you. Hey, good. Well, thank you, Allie, for having this class with me tonight. I look forward to this time with you. And I just want everybody to know what a valuable asset you are and just the fact that you um, put yourself out here and let people come in this call and share your expertise as a compliment to them for being oil lovers, I think is really great. And I really admire you about that about you. And I just want to point it out so everybody realizes like, this is top-notch education. This isn't just something you can find anywhere because trust me, I've looked for it for several years. So Allie is a very giving in her heart and her spirit. And I just wanted to um, thank her for allowing me to come on and share this time with her and make sure you guys know this is pretty cool. So um, moving forward, I'm gonna put my screen share on here and I have a little bit I wanna show with you all today. Um, here we go. All right, we good? Can you guys see that? Okay, super. So I am Rebecca. I have been an essential oil lover for about six years or so. I was introduced to them from my sister, Sarah, who um, just said, you really have to try these. You really have to try these. And I kept saying, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll get to them, right? And so I'm, I'm glad I listened to my smart baby sister and finally did. I'm a mom of six children. Right now I have a toddler who's sad that I won't be putting her bed tonight, as well as two college kids who are home for the summer. So my life is a big span of um, emotions and experiences. <laughs> and it's been for like that for a while now. I was a surprise small business owner with these roller bottles because um, I really wasn't looking to get into that. I was found a lot of satisfaction and joy in being a stay-at-home mom. There came to a point in my life where something felt a little off and I found um, a purpose in starting Silver Orange Boutique. And I found some meaning there and experienced a lot of joy in creating roller bottle sets. This was about five years ago and there really weren't a lot of fun, pretty things on the market. Lots of just brown and blue and a few stickers sometimes on things. Um, so I spent a year or so just really enjoying myself and creating pretty things. Um, pretty things will make me happy. And as much as I love using my oils, I love using my oils better when they're in pretty bottles. So, hey, what can I say? You know, that's me. <laughs> so let's see. Um, I love the look of crystals and roller bottles. And like Allie was saying, um, I would see lots of businesses selling them. Chances are, if you've purchased a crystal roller bottle set from an online business or an in-person uh, in event, 
chances are extremely high that you have a toxic crystal in your set. So my best event, my best advice for you would be, obviously, I think everybody here should have um, Allie's book, but there's a list in there. And she tells you very easily which ones you should be using and which ones you shouldn't be. Um, but 99% positive, really. I, I am that confident and that sure that you're going to have a toxic crystal in that set if you bought it from anywhere except for me in the last few years. <laughs> so um, I met Allie actually at an essential oil event, and she was speaking about using essential oils safely with your pets. And um, I found her intriguing. I don't even have any pets, but I still wanted to chat with her. And she came over to my booth and she admired my crystal roller bottles. And then very casually just said something like, um, probably want to put those crystals in there. And that was it. She didn't call me out or condemn me. Um, but it got me thinking like, hmm, what's going on here? So I started to do some research. And over the next, I don't know, maybe it was even up to a year, I spent a lot of time and a lot of money looking for resources that would teach me and educate me um, about the use of crystals and essential oils. I feel that there's a moral responsibility if I offer a product that it should be something that enhances your wellness and helps you. It's not anything that's gonna invertedly hurt you. So my goal in that was to educate myself and find out a little bit more about them. And as I did, it started to make me pause and realize that perhaps a few of the stones I was currently offering at that point weren't the best or were 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 bad. Let's just put it that way. So um, I finally found this gem and I call it a gem because it really is. It's worth its weight in diamonds to me. Um, I spent a long time trying to find this information and I bought books and they would say they were about crystals and oils. Sometimes I was lucky to find those and there would be a 180 page book or even a 25 page book and there may be one sentence or one paragraph at the very most not even ever a full page that talks about the two together so we talk about oils we talk about crystals and back and forth but it never put the two together the way I was looking for I did find online sites that gave lots of recipe suggestions using toxics um, using crystals that I now know are toxic when I found the oily crystal book I was ecstatic. <laughs> um, I think I must have signed up for Allie's newsletter when I met her the first time. And she came out with this announcement that she had gotten this new book and I ordered it immediately. I knew it was going to be something pretty great. And the reasons I loved it so much is that it covered the science about what was going on. Sometimes Allie uses the phrase, is it the hoo-ha? Like <laughs> it's not just a bunch of magic hoo-ha, right? There is a science behind it. And she explains it very simply yet deeply enough that you understand what's going on. She outlined the safety issues around the situations of putting the two together. And like I mentioned, she has a, a list that's really easy on which ones you avoid and why. Are they too soft? Do they have a bad, a bad um, uh, ingredient in them? And then at the end of the book, she has the recipe. So I thought that was really cool. I found a ton of value in this book. Um, so much so that as an online um, e-commerce shop, I decided I had to offer it and I wanted to promote it. So I'm lucky to be a wholesaler of her book and I love offering that to people. I always encourage you to purchase from her as the author to support her. Um, but for people who maybe don't have that connection or I'm in an event and she isn't there, I find that a great service that I'm able to offer and get the word out. And I would encourage everybody here to get the word out to your teams and your friends and anybody who's using these pretty rollers, like just check what's in there, make sure they're okay. So um, after I did read the book, I kind of had an aha moment where I understood it all, realized I needed to make some changes to my product line because I had some products in there that weren't safe. I reached out to, Kat, or to why am I saying that? I reached out to Allie and she um, received my comment graciously and gave me um, a lot of her time and helped me to rework my product line so that everything offered was something that was going to be good for you. So every crystal that I offer in my shop has been uh, approved by Allie and is oily crystal approved. I'm very proud of that. And um, we came up with her help with a beautiful assortment. And these are the, the current crystal roller bottles that I offer. There are 12 of them because 
I really like celebrations and I find there's a lot of things in life that are worth celebrating. And sometimes we just don't know how we don't know how to just stop and take a moment and, and celebrate even the every day. But I like to do something for birthdays or anniversaries or such where you can, you know, all these rollers align to a certain month of the year. So this is um, January is the first roller here is Rose Quartz. February is amethyst. And these are either birthstones or celebration stones. Because unfortunately, if you're a crystal roller bottle lover, you cannot get a birthstone from every crystal into a bottle. So we have a few that are alternatives that I think work nicely and beautifully in the set. So you can get these rollers with a celebrate you card to keep that going and all the months and stone crystal stones are outlined around it. It's just one way to make um, some of those things easier for you to share with people. I know I hear a lot of people say, I want to get a gift for so-and-so and she really likes essential oils and she really likes crystals and I'm like, I have several things and this is definitely the first thing I suggest. <laughs> and then I often follow that up by, and have you read the oily crystal yet? You need that. So I also have some other fun little bottles in my shop because like I said, I really enjoy making things. And these are um, Swarovski crystals and um, gold flakes. So you may ask yourself like, well, can I make these myself? And I would say, absolutely, you can, but you're going to run into a few barriers. And I like to offer them because you don't get those barriers with me. You can just purchase what you need, but it is very difficult sometimes to find um, authentic crystal chips that fit the requirements of not being toxic and being hard enough on the most hardness scale to go inside a roller bottle. And when you do, sometimes you have to buy them wholesale, or sometimes you have to buy a large amount of them, and it's not always realistic. So I would like to offer myself to be a trusted source for you when you need a crystal roller bottle, and I will help you and encourage you to go ahead and find, make your own. You know that I've spent hours and hours and months and months to, to, um, find a curated set of things that are actually appropriate for use and that work. But um, go ahead and try it. I, I think everybody, you know, if you find enjoyment in that, you should do it as well. But please know that if you are looking for a safe source, then I'd be happy to be that for you. So um, in an earlier comment, in my introduction, I kind of told you that I just loved roller bottles. And I want to tell you why. Uh, when I got into essential oils, I quickly realized that I love diffusing them because I love that smell and it would fill up my kitchen. Um, but if I left the kitchen and went up to my bedroom or something, possibly it didn't go with me. And yes, I know I can put diffusers everywhere, but I don't always, <laughs> um, but that was just kind of, so I started using roller bottles because I could take it with me. So one of the main reasons of why I advocate for a, a safe usage of crystals and especially in roller bottles is for safety. Um, when you are putting oil into a roller bottle, you can pick how you want you to dilute it. And I will share a little bit more about dilution rates in a few minutes. Um, but there are a lot of oils that are hot and you don't want to put them on your skin. And some people are, are more able to do that than others. But I know for myself, when I, I realized how much I love orange oil and I tried to do a head drop where you put the drops here and my scalp was burning from the citrus. And my sister's not that way, she can do that, but everybody's skin is different. So if you're using a roller, you can find a dilution rate that works for you. Um, you don't have to put it on meat, just all by itself. Um, they're portable, so they're easy to take along with you. And you, if you're making a blend, you don't have to take five bottles with you, you can just take one. Um, they're super easy to use. And I find them really fun to use, just the process of shoop, shoop, swiping them on. Um, they're economical too, because if you're using just say 10, 15 drops in a bottle, you're not gonna go through your precious essential oils as quickly and you won't have to buy them quite as much. And really they're just very pretty and beautiful. And sometimes people may um, kind of say, yeah, 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 that's okay. But to me, that honestly is one of the biggest reasons I use them because things that are beautiful and bring me joy, put that or make me happy, just bring that joy into my day and it runs over into other things and I feel good 
and I treat my family, my children, my um, friends, strangers in the grocery store differently. And I feel like my life and my day just takes on a more positive spin. And it starts with something really basic and really little, just this tall, which is a crystal roller bottom. Okay, we're gonna go into the next one here. So if you're wondering how to use a roller bottle and you're new to them, I wanna cover just that for just a quick few minutes here. Um, Cause I know everybody here probably loves their essential oils but maybe you are new to rollers. So the point of a roller bottle or one of the ways you use a roller bottle is that it just has a very small amount of essential oil in it. And the majority of your bottle is filled with carrier oil. And carrier oil is an oil that basically carries the essential oils into your skin and into your body. They're base oils, they are not essential oils, and they come from nuts, veggies, or seeds. There's a whole list of them here. Um, and one of the ways that you pick which carrier oil you're going to use is to consider um, what skin type you have, what do you want the oil to do? Do you want it to sit there? Do you want it to absorb quicker? Um, do you have allergies you want to avoid? Almond and sesame are allergies in our house. So as much as I like those, I don't use those. Um, and I can customize my rollers to fit exactly what my needs are. I would say to be aware. Be aware, of aware, aware, aware. Oops. And um, once you open a carrier bottle oil, some of them expire fairly quickly. I think um, grapeseed can only, can sometimes go rancid within you know six to eight months. And jojoba oil, is actually a wax that lasts for a very long time. So anyway, start to look into some of these carrier oils and explore the benefits of each. Just like quickly, if I'm making something on my face, I use a jojoba roller often. I'll add rose hip and evening primrose. I'm actually gonna share a recipe with you with that. If I know I'm making something that's gonna go on my feet or my back or my pulse points or somewhere beside my face, my go-to oil is fractionate, fractionated coconut oil. Okay, so. This is my favorite beauty roller recipe, if anybody's interested. It actually came from my mom, who has taught me tons about essential oil, oils. And she will use, um, sometimes she puts a little bit more than this in her roller. But <laughs> like I said, you can customize these. It's a lot easier to add essential oils to a roller bottle than it is to take them out. So if you're making a roller at a dilution rate, which we'll go over still, but you find appropriate and you use it and you say, you know, I just wish this was a little bit stronger. Go for it. Take that cap off and put some more oils in there. But I always suggest starting low, starting with a lower quantity and see if they work for you for a lot of the benefits we went over. So frankincense, myrrh, patchouli, and rose, excellent for your skin. And the carrot oil, is optional only because it is very strongly scented. And if you're looking for more of a pretty florally, maybe not so much florally, just a pretty smell, you might not want that carrot oil in there, but carrot essential oil is really good for your skin. So consider using that one. So I put my oils in first and let them synergize. You can let them sit overnight and before you add your carrier, or honestly, if you're in a hurry, it's okay to just blend them and swish swirl them for a few minutes and then put a carrier oil in there. There's a lot of um, research about synergizing your oils by letting them sit. So if that's something you're interested oh, that's something in. That's something that's that's something that's something about that. That. So then I take that roller bottle when I put my essential oils in and I fill that bottle about halfway up and with jojoba but I leave about half of it empty and I add a quarter of the bottle of um, rosehip oil and evening primrose. Again, look into those oils. We don't have time to go over all the benefits of carrier oils, but, um, and you, you could see why it's really good for your uh, facial roller. So that's a favorite that we use it. Well, that me and my mother and my two sisters <laughs> use on our faces. Um, Actually, I am working on a blog article for my website right now about carrier oil. So that should be up within the next week or so. So you can always um, check that out if you want some more guidance or go to another trusted source um, for that type of education. But I do want to uh, reiterate something Ali said earlier is that this is your wellness. Like you as a, you almost have to be your own advocate. Like 
don't blindly take the word of anybody that you haven't found trustworthy. Don't take the word of a business that says, here's a roller bottle that's going to do this, 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 this. If you don't know anything about them, get a relationship with them, investigate, find out where their stones come from. Are they genuine? You know, it's really easy to get fake crystals. Um, lots of times the things you see on Amazon, I mean, I've seen stones on there that say they're turquoise and they're obviously not tur real genuine turquoise. Turquoise isn't one you put in a roller bottle anyway, but it's very easy to use fake crystals. Find, do your research, find out what's best for you and don't blindly take anybody's word for it. Just because they have 3 million followers on Instagram, they're an influencer, just because they're your upline even, do your own research, find someone you can trust and learn from them. If they're an expert on dilution rates or crystal authenticity or what do essential oils do for me? And those are the people that you want to invest your time and your money if you're purchasing from them. So that's my little public service announcement. So um, of course, so for dilution rates, there is a lot a very wide range of what I find recommended online for dilution rates. I find some people who use 50 to 75 drops of oil in an essential roller bottle. I found people who dump an entire 5 ml bottle into a roller and just use it straight. I've actually had people purchase them from me. She said, this is, this is one of my funny stories. She says, well, what do I need a roller bottle for? And I kind of, you know, told her a few of the benefits of it. And she really liked how pretty they were. So she bought my Swarovski crystal roller bottle and said, I'm just going to put my bottle of rose in here. Rose. She came back to me at the next event I saw her at. And she said, she loved using it. She just uses it straight up like that. I'm like, wow. Okay. So <laughs> that's no dilution at all. <laughs> but for the majority of us, we need to dilute that on our skin. Like I told you how my head just burned when I put it on. So uh, Robert Tisserin is a... Um, expert in the um in the essential oil world and he i did some research on different people and he's somebody that i found was worth trusting um so he has an institute i follow some of his advice this is his their suggestion for dilution rates again this is a personal choice this is what i feel comfortable with and maybe you're going to feel comfortable with something else, but please research it and don't just use a chart that you found on Pinterest because somebody put pinned it and somebody else repinned it. That's that's not doing you any good. Make sure you're following an expert and following somebody you can trust with that. Let's see, I'm going to go to our next one. So, like I told, I just I mentioned when I find something I like, I kind of go all in with it. And something important in my in my world is my faith. So when I realized how powerful crystals could be, I wanted to combine that. So I um, have these affirmation cards that my sister designed. They're all original watercolor art, and there's an affirmation and a, a scripture verse that affirms what they are all about. And I find a lot of meaning in these. And these are one of my favorite products to share. Um, so I just wanted to mention it about um, you can be a Christian and find some benefits in this too. I, I know um, Allie and I have had some conversations about faith with this and there's a wide gamut. Like <laughs> there's a lot out there that you can talk about and explore and talk to your faith friends and your, your spiritual mentors, you know, and get some guidance on that if it, if it makes you feel a little... Um, you're just curious, you know, that's good. It is good to explore things and find, find out some of the truth behind this. And when you know the science behind it, it makes it a lot easier. Um, the same goes for such things to diffuse like diffuser jewelry. Now I believe crystal or roller bottles in general are like just a super easy way. But if you, you want to wear jewelry, they're also super easy to diffuse where you just drop an essential oil right onto like a lava bead. And again, jewelry makers, if you're going to use diffuser jewelry, make sure it comes from a jeweler who's using real crystals, unless you just want them to look pretty and you don't really care about any of the other benefits. But I kind of doubt that's the case since you're here. We want all these things to work together to, um, to elevate our wellness, to have those frequencies helping us, right? So I found a uh, jewelry maker, TJE Design Studio. I love her stuff. We've become fast friends. 
And we did a collaboration and we, we have her necklaces and my rollers and an affirmation card. And a, just another just another example of finding um, people you trust, find a business you trust, do the research before you commit to any of those products. So celebrating in our house often involves birthday parties. And I have two girls right now who are 11 and 13. And when we started oils six years ago, they loved making roller bottles and we did them for birthday party favors. And actually my daughter just turned 13, had her friends over and they made crystal roller bottles and they loved it. Um, so my, I have another sister. I have a really talented family, by the way. <laughs> I have another sister who's a graphic design artist and started an, a line of birthday party decor. So we worked together and she has the birthday party decor and I provide the favors. And it's just another fun way to get essential oils out to your, your people. And it's a nice way to share them. And a lot of moms have said to me like, wow, this is really cool. My daughter loves this. What's in here? How do I make it? Right? It's just another way to share. I'm just sharing some opportunities for you to make things simple, simple and easy, because that's, <laughs> that's what a lot of us are looking for right now. You can continue that on and use them for everything. I've had this woman who has often purchased rollers for me to use at wedding showers, and they play the left-right game with that. Like um, the bride left the scene, and then she came right back. And there's a cute little story. And every time you say left or right, you pass the roller bottle around, and you win a roller bottle. So again, just another example of ways you can be sharing oils with people without always having to have a class. It's just part of life. It's part of your celebrations. And if celebrating is important to you, use the things that are important to you to do it. So along the same line of, you know, I had that experience with Ali and learning, learning about the best way to do something, what it taught me is to do my research first. So when I wanted to um, do botanicals, I kind of went off on the same process and I did a lot of research um, to use botanicals in roller bottles. And what I would suggest to you is if you want to do that, these are just kind of the few things to keep in mind. Make sure they're completely organic. They are completely dried because any water will make the whole bottle rotten. And um, you can use your essential oils in there. A lot of times you're not gonna get a lot of scent out of those, but if you enjoy the beauty of them, you can add the oils as well. Botanical rollers are almost as pretty as crystals. <laughs> Um, and then this is my favorite roller bottle I have right now, and it's frankincense resin, and I fill it with fractionated coconut oil, and I don't add any essential oils to it, and it smells divine. It is my favorite perfume roller. I sell those in a set with gold frankincense and myrrh, kind of like the gifts of the magi. Just another, another way you can use something at Christmas that keeps going through the rest of the year. But resins are really cool. They will break down slightly in your bottles. I've had one in there for about two years and I still see chunks of it. So I'm not sure how long it will take, if it ever will. I mean, I know usually you have to grind them up to make them absorb in liquid, but this, the um, smell is just so nice in that frankincense roller. And frankincense and orange are two of my favorite rollers. That's why I use them <laughs> in examples a lot. So I also want to give you um, ways to store and display your rollers. Like if you're investing in crystal roller bottles, either ones you make yourself or ones you purchase from me or another reputable business that has toxic free crystals, let's have some fun ways to like tear, take care of them. This middle picture is a fair trade. Fair so trade, fair trade, fair trade. Kenya. It holds a roller bottle and it supports um, artisans around the world. And then I have this customized acrylic holder that holds all 12 of mine if you don't like them tipping over because they're a little tall and unsturdy at times. So just options. Somebody asked me about that once and I thought, well, let's do it. So I did. So um, coming back to the oily crystal, like I mentioned, one of the things I loved about that book is that Allie has near the end some recipes to try. She has three recipes called Exhale, Glow, and Cha-Ching. And with her um, permission and support, I'm offering an oily crystal starter set that contains the crystals that are outlined in her recipe. 
And then in her recipe book, you would just read what goes in there. And it just gives you an easy way to start with a very small bottle. These are just five ml roller bottles. And then as our, you know, if you're like, oh yeah, I like that little start, but I really want to get it all. I'm, I'm all in here. I'm going to try this out then I've got this deluxe collection that you're going to love. <laughs> it has all of our certified safe rollers. It has some pipettes, it has a punnel, it has an EO key, it has a little card that comes in there that talks about the crystal, the what goes pairs well with them. And honestly, if you have Allie's book, you'll already know all that. Um, but that comes in this beautiful uh, gift box. But these crystals, I just want to remind you, have been selected specifically because they're safe to use immersed in oil in roller bottles. And with this set, you actually get a little bonus guy over on the side here, some mukite jasper. This gives you a little fun extra. So to thank you guys all for being here tonight with us and um, enhancing your education, I am going to offer a 30% off coupon code for that deluxe collection, which I've never done before, <laughs> but I really do want to get these into the hands of more people. Um, if this helps you be able to get this with a 30% off code, then I'm all for it. Um, if you are here tonight and you just want to explore something, everybody here is qualified for a free carnelian roller bottle. I picked carnelian because it's the July birthstone celebration stone, but August is coming. And that's Allie's birthday. So if you'd rather have a Peridot, you can type Peridot in the comments and I will put that in your package. It's um, um uh, it's not a coupon code. It just, I will see it on the notes section and I will add it in for you. And that's good for the next five days. So uh, let me check the chat and see if we had any questions. Um, okay, looks like not. If you guys do have questions, feel free to drop them in the box. Uh, I am going to send this back over to Allie now. If I get out of the chat, there we go, Allie. And I just wanna thank you guys again for um, being here with us to learn and just keep encouraging you to do your research and find somewhere that you can trust with your crystals. All right, it has, All right. has not come over to me yet. Did you click? Um... It should be now, are you in it now? says you are the host now. All right. Oh, there we go. All right. We oh, are good. good. <laughs> okay. So I am going to, I'm going to go through this a little fast. There's no need to screenshot this because um, you're going to get the recording. Okay. You're going to get the recording, but in the oily crystal book, I break down our seven main energy centers in our body, also known as the chakras. And the, these are very powerful energy centers that you can work with to topically apply oils and blend the crystals with them. Now in the oily crystal book, I can only put in the single oils, okay? I'm not, I'm not putting in any Young Living blends, all right? So you get the blends in this, all right? So, with our root chakra. So our root chakra is at the base of our spinal column and it is all about our security, our safety and our belonging, whether we feel safe and secure in the world. So one crystal that is really good that you can get from Rebecca is red jasper. That is powerful for the root chakra. And then you see the blends there listed on the screen that blend beautifully with red jasper for a root chakra blend. Now, in the Oily Crystal book, I also give you affirmations. So, you know, whether you're meditating or praying or journaling, affirmations are beautiful to say because you're, you're talking to your subconscious mind. So, you know, when you're working with the root chakra, you are creating an energy of feeling peaceful and protected and safe. And so you can say, I am peaceful. I am protected. I am safe as you're working with your roller bottle. Now, the sacral chakra is just underneath your belly button. And this is where your creative and inspiration area is located. So you can either create a baby or you can create a business. <laughs> it's like, you know, pick, pick what you want to create. You can do both. You can do it all. 
And so carnelian resonates with the sacral chakra. It is a very creative, fiery, energizing crystal. And so I put um, blends there that go very well with carnelian. Um, I, I really like the inner child blend with carnelian because kids are so creative. So if you feel like, boy, I am on the verge of creating something, whatever it is, it could be a new habit that you're trying to create, a new health plan, a new, um, you know, you want to get out and exercise more, you want to write a book, you, you know, whatever it is, carnelian with inner child, mm, that, that is one of my favorites for the sacral chakra. Now, as we're moving up the body, we're going to the solar plexus, and this is in the area of your stomach, and this is your energy and your power center. This is where we store negative emotions. It's where we store lack of confidence, lack of self-esteem, and self-sabotage. So people who have digestive issues, that's usually the emotional root of the digestive issues. Citrine is your crystal. It's a happy crystal. It is a high vibrational crystal. It feels awesome. It's gorgeous. And you have a lot of different blends that you can put with that. Now in the book, if you just want to put lemon oil, lemon and citrine are like best friends. <laughs> they really love to be together. So you have a lot of options. And this is where you got to figure out what you want the roller bottle to do. You know, like I said, you have to build this with intention. What is your intention? What do you want these to do for you? Now, when we go up to the heart chakra, the heart chakra is where we store all of our emotions and we should be filled with joy and unconditional love. I mean, that's what we should be aiming for. Some days are better than others. I know that. <laughs> so rose quartz, amazing heart chakra crystal. And then when we look to you know, some of the oils, I mean, joy blend. Oh, <laughs> hello, Dobby. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? All right. Welcome. To, welcome to live uh, cat television here. So I guess Dobby is going to stick here. I'm going to try to turn this. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. He's sitting in his cat tree right here. So anyway, joy oil is, is phenomenal to put with rose quartz, but you have some other options here. Um, your throat chakra, this is where you authentically communicate. So if you're swallowing your words, if you're not able to express yourself, you got some throat chakra work to do. Blue lace agate is a powerful crystal for, for your throat. And the one voice blend with blue lace agate is pristine, absolutely pristine, okay? you will be able to communicate authentically and a balanced throat chakra always can be heard because the words come from compassion, even when you're having a difficult conversation. The third eye, this is your intuitive center, right in the middle of your forehead. And it's where you have clear thinking and you actually have a vision for your life. You can actually see the vision. It's where you discern truth. There's so much junk out there on the internet. You don't, you don't even know what to believe anymore. Amethyst is brilliant for your third eye. And, you know, I like the Envision oil. I love transformation. That is hands down my number one favorite um, blend um, to work with. So either of those with the amethyst is amazing. And then Dobby, <laughs> I need to distract him. <laughs> I, I'm giving him a crystal to play with here. Dobby, play with my pink Lemurian. There we go. All right. So the crown chakra, this is on the top of your head. And this is where you connect. It's that divine connection with the creator. It's where you manifest. So if you're not manifesting the life that you want, crown chakra, clear quartz is your crystal. Um, I, I love the higher unity. Um, blend, uh, the abundance blend is even really good. So th this gives you some blends that you can work with, but in the book, I give you the oils, like the single oils that you can work with, and you can just start making your own blends. So um, I wanted to share this because I also do an oily crystal seasonal class. Um, it's on my website, um, 
manifestedharmony.com. And we just did the summer class. And this is what I'm going to be putting in my topic, <laughs> what I'm going to be putting in my, um, my Peridot bottle. Um, I just love this. I, I love this blend so much that um, I, I wear it as perfume. I wear it as perfume. I just, I love it. So I wanted to share that with you. And then if you want to get, if you don't have the oily crystal book, heck, if you don't even have the oily pop book, use coupon code Zoom for 10% off. Okay. I give bulk discounts. The more you buy, the bigger the discount. You can get up to a 30% discount. I have a lot of people that buy for their teams and they give them out to people who are new members or people who join loyalty rewards or people who make a new rank. Imagine gifting them the oily crystal book and one of these beautiful roller bottles as a thank you gift. Very unique, very unique and very well thought out. So go to manifestedharmony.com, use the code word Zoom. Okay, just Zoom, 10% off at checkout. You'll see that there. Um, and you can, you can use it on either book. You can get the bundle if you want, okay? And I've, I've mentioned a couple of times the Oily Crystal Masterclass. So this is an on-demand class that is available to you. Should you want to go ahead and register for it? It's eight hours, okay? Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> it's eight hours. The workbook is 70 pages. It's, it's a full-on book of all on its own. And because I am coming up on my birthday month, which is August, I celebrate the whole month. So y'all are going to see me losing my ever loving mind on social media. So follow me for my birthday extravaganza. Um, I'm giving you guys an early birthday gift. Um, use the coupon code 20 off all one word together for 20% off of the master class. This class will give you an entirely new appreciation not only for your essential oils, but if you have crystals, you're going to get a master education. Okay. It's, it's just one of the best things that I've ever created. Um, so I, I love this class so much. So, um, and if you're interested in learning more about crystals, um, I teach my crystal classes, um, typically two times a year. So, you know, usually in the winter, and then I teach again in the fall. So they're coming up and everything is online if you are not here in the mid-Michigan area. Um, so check that out. You will get the science, which will then help you understand the metaphysical and the spiritual that a lot of people talk about. You will actually make that connection. I speak to both your left brain and your right brain at the same time. And Everybody loves these classes. They are packed with essential oil people. In fact, I'm trying to think of a student I've had in the last five years that was not an oiler. And I can't think of one. They're all essential oil people all over the world. Okay, so join in. We have a lot of fun. Even the online class is gonna go like that, go so fast. All right, so at this point, um, we're going to go ahead and take some questions and um, because I know some people may not be comfortable being recorded because this is going to go on my YouTube page out to all my followers. I'm just going to turn off the recording. So thank you to those of you who have watched the recording and we will just take some questions here live. So hold on for a second. 